David and Goliath. In Bethlehem, there was a boy called David. He was the youngest and the smallest of eight brothers. David would tend his father's sheep and always making beautiful music on his lyre. One day, a man from the palace came to David. King Saul has sent me. He is very sad and has asked if you will play your sweet music for him. Of course I will come. David left that same day to the king's house. He played and sang his songs for the king. Soon, King Saul was happy again. I would prefer you to stay here with me in my palace. I would be very glad to stay. Soon, King Saul got the news that an army was marching towards Israel. He had to leave and lead his soldiers in the battle. So, he sent David back home. One day, David went in search of his brothers who were in the army. When he got there, he saw two armies standing across a field from each other. In the middle of the field, some men were talking to a huge man. He was the biggest man David had ever seen. He was a giant named Goliath. Send out your best warrior and I, Goliath, will defeat him. I am ready to fight. If your man can kill me, we Philistines will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, you Israelites will be our servants. David knew that God was on the side of the Israelites and that they shouldn't be afraid of Goliath because God could easily take care of him. David ran to the king and told him what he had seen and heard. He said that he would fight the giant. No one will fight Goliath. You're just a boy. You shouldn't take any chance against the giant. When I was tending my sheep, the lions would come. God would protect me from them. He will protect me from this giant too. The king finally agreed to let David fight Goliath. David left to meet Goliath. He stopped to pick up some stones for his sling. Goliath was still standing in the middle of the field. He was dressed in his finest armor and ready for battle. David was dressed in his simple clothes. He looked at David's staff and slingshot and said, Am I a dog that you come to beat me with stakes? Come here and I will give your flesh to the birds and other animals. But David had a lot of faith in the Lord. He said to Goliath, You come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to you in the name of the Lord, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have challenged. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will kill you and take your head, and I will give your dead body for the birds to feed upon and to the wild beasts of the earth, so that the whole earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Then Goliath was red-hot mad. He came towards David, but David was ready because his God was on his side. David ran straight towards Goliath and put his hand in his shepherd's bag and took out a stone and put it in his slingshot. He slung it and hit Goliath right in his forehead and the stone sunk into Goliath's head. Goliath fell crashing to the ground. David killed that mighty warrior with a slingshot. Then David ran and stood on top of Goliath and took a sword out of his sheath and cut off Goliath's head. When the Philistines saw that their champion Goliath was dead, they fled and the Israelites chased them down and wounded them. David knew that God had helped him. Thank you, O Lord.